Hello, it's Sunday. Welcome to Creative You Knitting and Crocheting Podcast. And as always, there's always some new things. You can never get bored, really. Never, never, never. So I found a designer, a Swedish designer, unfamiliar to me. She goes by the name of Yarn Madness, and her name is Madeline or Madeline Nilsson. And I'd like to show you some of her things. She knits and crochets. This is called Gard, G-A-R-D. It's baby bib, and in Swedish, Gard is the pronunciation for protection. And you know when babies get to that phase where they just drool? And I mean, imagine going around with a wet, soppy top and all that. So I didn't get my ends worked in, but mine doesn't somehow look as cute as hers. You know, if you go to Ravelry Crochet and you just type in motif or you can buy books, I might do like a little green heart or a little green frog, or I might even outline it in like a lime green or a blue, because I think it would be cute. Hers, she has done that. She's outlined them in another color. I think it makes a great baby gift. And if it's a cotton, doesn't matter if the baby chews on it. Um, so here are some ones that other people have made. That's just a plain pink and some plain colors. There they did like the multicolors and That looks like maybe a sugar and cream yarn. So it calls for a sport weight yarn, which sport weight yarn would be lighter. I think I can get two bibs out of this. I didn't even get to the, like the black color yet. And then I found the cutest button that is just perfect for this little puppy dog that I think is gonna be really cute. Or you can go for a button that's a completely opposite color, like a lime green or something that really stands out. So I hope to make more of these. That is actually a free pattern. And that's my dog, Hartley. And both of our dogs have these coughing fits. So um this is another one of her crochet patterns that i thought was really cute and it can be like a little boy or girl's vest or it can be a little um dress and i don't know why i can't here we go pull that up So she likes to do things in two or three colors. And I think it's just so, so cute. And so I've been thinking about yarns for this and whether, and it goes, I think all the way up to size, newborn to size eight. And so we'll look at some of that and some of the other things that she, that she does. This is one of her knitted patterns, a little garter stitch vest, Modig. And I thought this was really cute, dormant dandy. Because you know how little kids like to carry their toys around or put things in their pocket? So she designed a pocket into this little top. I love it, dormant dandy. This is one of her patterns for adults that I think is really pretty. It's a sweater with lace work, um, done with a worsted weight yarn. I, it's just really appealed to me. So if you want to check her out, it's Yarn Madness and yarn hyphen madness and she also had a little knit pattern I liked too. Oh, Hartley. Oh, that's the little one that wouldn't take much at all to knit. In fact, for a baby, it's barely any yarn at all. Leighton or Leighton is Swedish for small. 
newborn DK weight material, 40 yards in two colors. I mean, wow, that would be so cute. So there's a new designer for you. She has a couple pages of clothing for children. Thought that was really cute too. I mean, there isn't anything she's done that I don't like, and she loves to play around with color. So, and boys and girls, sometimes people, oh, this I thought was really cute. Is that adorable? I also, crocheters, came up with this blooming flower crochet dress. And I think you'd have to have a little bit of confidence in cutting material. You have to measure, you know. Remember I was doing this little My Secret crop top for my granddaughter Ella, who's 14. Well, it recommended 15 inch straps, but again, it said you have to measure. So I got to be with her tonight. I have to had to take off five inches of the strap. Now again, I realize this yarn has a little spandex, but if I would have given that to her, she would have given it right back. And I would have had to rip out seams and so forth. One point that a magazine or it was a book on knitting made is you really shouldn't do your seams with the yarn. And if you have to rip them out, it's a nightmare. Her sister likes this yarn, Phoenix DK Prints. It's stripes and candy, candy crush cake. Now this isn't gonna have any give. That's an extra small and I didn't think it would fit. It fit like it was made for her. But this, but anyway, I am interested in this. Um, there's a lot of cute dresses made. You have to be able to measure and sew, but there it is. And other things on my radar, I like this top for my teenage daughter, or even for me, it is Coachella is hot. The dry heat of the Coachella Valley in Southern California inspired this racer back top. So people that knit it say when you knit it, it looks like nothing. You see the two holes there? But when you put it on, there it is. It fits great. You could wear it with a tank top under it. And there's the back. And I thought it would be done in a lightweight because of the hot area, but no, it's done in a worsted weight yarn. Some people say worsted. Um, so you'd want something cotton, acrylic, you can get sticky and hot in it. So I've been going through yarn and so I have some things pulled out for fingering weight. This is a yummy, yummy fingering weight. It's Pima cotton and linen, just $9 for 464 yards. You could basically make a top. And the lighter weight yarns, the more yardage you get and the better of a deal. Yes, you have to knit more, but. So in the fingering weight that, in the DK weight, Cotton candy, which the girls really liked. You can't get this yarn anymore, but I have a lot of it. They especially liked the mint and pink color. Um, this is what I made the other top in, but these are their new colors called Splash. Isn't that pretty? And Queensland Savannah, which is a Pima cotton. We looked at that. Um, great Adirondack yarn, which is organic cotton, very soft. This is one of her best selling colors called Beach House. And it's so soft and you're getting 315 yards for $14. That's a lot. That's, I don't know if you realize, but that is a great deal. Um, this is another yarn I have at the shop. Mikado Ribbon, it's a cotton blend. That's a DK weight, they liked that. And 
Debbie Bliss Cotton Denim DK, which comes in all the denim colors, but also in a pink and a yellow and a white. So lots of choices for Coachella, Arona, that's a worsted. I've told you this is so soft to knit with, I love it. So that was a choice. But this top looks so pretty on. It, um, it's done with a, I think an Aran weight, which is heavier than a worsted or a heavy. But this is a yarn I had in the shop, which is a cashmere blend. It's chain plied by the machine. I could just picture that this would be so lovely to wear. So passing our time, we got together with our son and his family last night and we played, um, oh, what is the name of that game? It's, um, it's a game where a bunch of people can play and you get a board and then it will say, um, a city in the U.S., an international leader, sticky, something sticky, a cosmetic, and then you roll a big dice and you get a letter, so S, and then the timer goes off and you have to go down and fill out. It was really fun, and the funny thing is my husband and I would have the same answers, and my son and his daughters, they would have the same answers as each other. It was so fun. So... One of them, when we got to the letter K, you play three rounds. A subject taught, and it was the letter K. Later, I came up with kinesiology, which so did my son. But you don't get any points if you think of it later. I came home. While we're driving home, I had to know. So I go on the website and put in subjects beginning with the letter K. Knitting. Knitting was the first thing that came up. Can you believe it? So Jonathan Kahn has amazing books and my husband got this for me for my birthday. And I wanted to share this because it was so beautiful. The Shana in Hebrew, I think you just pronounce it Shana. It means um, the, a secret or link to the number two. It means a duplicate or a repeat. It's used for the year, but you know, when we all start out a new year and we have new things we want to do, but then we lapse into our old routines. So he said that, you know, we're creatures of habit. That's what we do. But the new year, it the word also means opposite. So the same way the year ahead of you, and we still have six and a half months left, can mean the things that repeat, but also newness and change. Uh, you can't know God and not be changed by knowing him. And his will is that the year ahead of you not be a time of repetition, but of change, of new beginnings, of new steps, of breaking out of old ways and the old nature. So if you want to see a year of new things, you must choose to live not in the natural and walk not by nature and all its oldness and repetition, but to live in the supernatural and walk in God's will and all things new. I thought that was really amazing that God always brings new people, new things, new way of doing things into your life instead of same old, same old. And I probably am repeating this story, but when I worked at the hospital, I went into the hospital one morning and a man that I didn't even know was talking to someone else and they said, oh, how are you? And he said, same old, same old, you know, same old blank. And I took him aside and you said, you know, there's a verse in Jeremiah that's God's mercies are new every day. You'll never see the same sunrise. You'll never see the same sunset. Every day has all kind of new possibilities and he just looked at me like, who are you? And um, every time he saw me after that, he would kind of give me that secret look. But there was a worker at the hospital and every time you said, good morning, or if you said, how are you? She would say, just ducky. Right, morning after morning, 
just stucky. After a while, I stopped saying, how are you? I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore. So happy Sunday to you. I'll catch you the next time. It's not that I'm not making podcasts. It's that they're taking days to upload. I don't know why. So these might pile up. Have a great day. Keep that smile and shine, baby, shine.